I'm Helene. I'm so glad you could be here and I'm so happy to be here with some yarn and crochet and fun stuff related items and as the title says sneak peek on a couple of new patterns that I've come up with and um, before we get into that you know I have some a lot of things to show you and some comparisons and samples and the finished piece that I did and I wanted to work up something in each of the yarns. Um, before we get into that I just want to say um, some of you have noticed that I started doing a couple of cooking videos and for those of you who are into it great and I really appreciate you watching and I love your questions and your feedback but either way regardless I hope you'll stick with me because I have lots of ideas things I want to create and do and expand on as, as time goes forward and um, one of the other reasons why I decided to start and share some of my little recipes is because I hurt my elbow back into September. I rammed it really, really hard and gave myself a pretty bad bo bone bruise. Well, it felt pretty bad <laughs> anyway. And it was limiting my mobility and being able to uh, do much above like a 90 degree angle, um, you know, lifting and using my left hand here. And I was finding that even though I could crochet some, and I just thought, oh, you, you know, I'm just going to have to get, listen to my body. I'm like, okay, now I really do have to stop what I'm doing and take some time. So anyway, um, you're, because you, I thought, you know, someone might wonder, well, what happened? So that's that. And then the cooking thing, then my husband has a boo-boo, and he's laid up a little bit, and so he's just kind of the main cook. So I've had to step in and do that, and I thought, okay, time to get creative in another way. And so that, that was the other reason for that. All right, so let's get to this. You know, I like trying some new and different yarns and venturing out into uncharted waters for me and just to explore and see what's out there and how the different yarns play and work up with different stitches and patterns um, and by doing this lately I'm learning a lot more about the designing and how things act and with all that progression then came to actual some finished pieces that I'm really excited about and I'll be bringing those to you in a series of tutorials and in kind of the related category reviews as we go along too. So um, in between everything else. <laughs> so if you don't see me for little, you know, kind of blocks of time here and there, just um, all good, relatively speaking, and just busy and taking care of life. You know, I'm human like everybody else. Okay, so Hirschner's, yes, Hirschner's has a sister company. It's their company, but a sister site, and it's under their Willow Yarns, and so it seems like they've really, it used to you could just get under Hirschner's and they expand it and then they have enough and then they carry other brands. Is it Bergeret? It's in France. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and Baracco, that's a favorite of mine. They, they have other yarns. So they, they have their whole website, Willow. But you can order the Willow yarns from Hirschner's too. And so I did, and what another thing that took me a little bit longer in presenting this is I placed an order and I had to send two back and I exchanged them. And I'll, I'll tell you what and why. So I'm going to start here. Willow Daily Worsted. See, I was on a quest. Why I ordered this for the fingerless gloves that I've designed. And, and how I did them is I had in mind a certain texture. And so this is pretty much what I thought in this color. This one is passion fruit, 100% superwash wool. 
3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 218 yards. And to me, it says worsted, and this is a straight up worsted weight. It's not the number four worsted. More dense, it doesn't poof up as much. And it's really good. It's, it's soft. I can feel the wool content, but it's nice to work with. It's smooth on the hand. It has great stitch definition. This type, it's that, to me, that perfect mix of soft and texture because then it's going to help retain that shape. And it's going to, because of the more um, densely way that it's spun, I think it'd be more of a workhorse type of yarn where, you know, with gloves, unless you're, you're, you're having a pair to just, you know, pose and sit and look pretty for something like special occasion or attending a wedding or something like that, if you're going to actually use them for functional, um, you know, bikini versus a one piece <laughs> kind of thing. Um, not that I would swim in these, but that, that's my analogy for the day for that. Uh, and anyway, this calls for, believe it or not, a J-hook. Now for my first pair, now I'm not going to show you these close up because that's a sneak peek, but these, these I made to be nice and sleek, okay, and I love them. <clears throat> I lost my train of thought. I just got into the moment of this squishy goodness. Oh yes, hook size. Calls for a J. I think if you wanted something more drapey and open and loose-ish, you, you could do that. You could certainly do that. And what's nice is I did this in a G, a 4.0 millimeter, and those of you in UK terms, a J here in the US is 6.0. All right, so it recommends that. I don't know if I'd go with this for a standard. I think uh, an H or I, 5.0, 5.5 millimeter would be great middle of the road for this yarn. Now having on my hand, I have sensitive skin. I can, I can feel now that I have it on. I first put on, it's like, ah. Now that I have it on, I can feel the prickles a little bit, especially on my wrist. You know, certain areas, if you're like that, more sensitive inside of the wrist, um, you know, my below my neck, my neckline, that kind of thing. So I can feel it. I think that this will will soften if you wash it. I'm not going to wash it in the machine. All of my handmade items, things like this, I would just wash by hand. Uh, but I do think it will soften up. So I, I did this one in the 4.0 millimeter and in the stitch I used, it's a nice tight weave so this gives a lot of warmth without the bulk. And then I had ordered, before I show you this other one, so I ordered the passion fruit and I ordered the oceanic heather. Now I don't know if it was a color, because colors can make yarns hard and coarse, or if the, it's the heathering process. But when this was the first one I pulled out of the bag, I was like, oh yes, this is just what I wanted. And I pulled the other one, I was like, ew, it was rough, it was scratchy. Uh, I saw a lot more, uh, not even so much of a halo, but the wool. And it didn't look kind of softened. It looked coarse and scratchy, and it was. And the color, had the wool been soft, I probably would just kept it anyway, because, and I know sometimes colors online, they just they don't always translate well. Um, but it was darker. Now this one was pretty true to color. The other one was darker and more teal than what it, in real life, than what it showed online. And that was a color I really wanted. And also it came a mess. And um, so I ordered two of those. Those two went back and I 
reordered another passion fruit and this clover patch color. And, and I have to say, uh, Hirschner's turnaround time for the exchange was fantastic. So it's very happy about that. Now this one in the clover patch, and this looks pretty true in person online. It's just a little bit brighter. And no, I take that back. I didn't order the clover patch. I ordered, I thought I ordered the sea breeze, but I got the clover patch. Um, but I like green and I thought it was very happy and I thought someone else will like it too. So I kept it. I wasn't going to send it back for, you know, one ball. Um, and I can feel the prickles a little bit, but this one seems even just ever so slightly softer. It's, it's pretty close to about the same. And, um... The halo is very similar, maybe even that much less with this. And when I got this, if you look at it, I don't know if it looks like that to you or not, but I thought, oh boy, I'm not sure if this variegated gated is going to work for fingerless glove because if it's too long of self-striping, then you can, unless you're, you know, want to cut and sacrifice um, to match the stripes up, and they're going to look like opposites unless you want that look. And I thought, oh, I didn't know if this was going to work um, too long of a color change, but they're not. They're, here, I'm going to show you this. They're really pretty short color changes. You can see that, hopefully. Here it's changing again here and changing again here and there's a knot there. But anyway, um, yeah, and I was so pleased with how this this works worked up. You know, for certain stitches. Oh, here's a way to do it. How about that? It's even better. Da de. <laughs> Let me show you the passion fruit again. Okay, so that's that. I would um, definitely repurchase this yarn. So I am glad that I tried different ones because if I had gotten that Oceanic Heather only, I would not have reordered this yarn. I would have just sent it back done. I would like to try another heather. Ooh, you know, I'm really hesitant, but just to see if it's the heathering process or the color, because they have some really pretty heathers. I'd love to use some, but oh well. I wanted to try to give a comparison on each yarn that I'm showing, and you know, this isn't really the best because we're talking a different fiber, but for this commercial yarn, the Lion Brand Wool Ease, um, again, different fibers, and this is not the thick and quick, it's their straight up number, it's their number four worsted, okay? So it's 80 acrylic 20 wool versus 100% superwash wool. So we have a couple differences right there, the weight and the fiber. And so because this is a number four worsted, which is a little thicker than the just worsted yarn, worsted weight and the, the acrylic kind of makes it poof up a little too. But comparison as far as how it acts, how it works up is very similar. Different categories, different yarn, there are differences, but it's the closest as far as a commercial yarn with with something that has some wool content to it. So the one I'm wearing is one I'm showing you for comparison. It's not Hirschner's. It's Hobby Lobby Yarn Bee, the Chloe yarn. I've used this before. And this is 70% wool, 30% viscose. This, and for those of you who do not know, Viscose is a 
plant fiber pulp. All right, you get three and a half ounces, 270 yards. This is in the colorway bisque, in case you are curious about that. So when I was looking online the catalog, and this has been on my wish list, I've been looking at these yarns for, for a while. Um, the Willow Quiver. And I thought, hmm, just looking at it online and the colorways, and it that's what it reminded me of, the Chloe. And I thought, could this be similar? Well, I must try. Let's see. So I ordered two. I ordered this beautiful blooming heather. I'd love to get some more though. I don't know what to do. I went online, I've looked. I'm hoping they're just out of stock. They have eight different colors and they only have five in stock. And the three that they're out of it, the three that I really, really like. So I hope that they're just out of stock, but usually it'll say out of stock. Really hope that they bring them back because it's, it's got great, almost five star complete rating on the, this yarn. Okay, so the Willow Quiver is just gorgeous. Oh, love, love, love. Love working with it, love the feel of it. Very similar to the Chloe, but it's thicker. Okay, so it's, it, it's it's such interesting different how different people decide what hook size to use. The Chloe says it's a number four, recommends a J hook. And this, which is thicker, recommends an H hook. <laughs> Try to figure that one out. If you don't need as thick of a hat, as warm of a hat, you want something transitional, just a little bit lighter weight, doesn't get that cold where you live, or if you live in a climate where it does, and like I said, you're going from fall into winter and then winter into spring, the Chloe. It's so lightweight. It's you know, I found that it's uh, to be breathable, and I've been wearing it since this is my second year now, and um, this is kind of one of my, my go-tos. But it is a lighter weight yarn, so it's going to take more stitches, okay? And now on, so this, this is 70 wool, 30 viscose, and this is similar. I, I really like this blend. I don't want to take the ball band off, okay, of that one. This is the one I worked up to show you. 63% wool, 25% rayon from bamboo. I'm guessing the viscose is from bamboo also. All right, and 12% acrylic. So 63 wool, 25 rayon, 12 acrylic. Made in Turkey, loving this yarn. Wish I got two because I could probably make a little hat and cowl set. Although there wasn't as much left from the hat that I made that I thought there would be. So if you want to do a more drapey cowl, cowl, if that's something you're thinking of doing in whatever pattern, you might want to get three and they're $6.99 each just so you know. But um, I think it's nice. It's very nice quality. I think it's worth it. Even nicer when they have sales and free shipping. <laughs> um, but what's... Uh, let's see, I made some notes here. Okay. So this is warm. Very warm, but lightweight. Like I said, breathable. It's smooth on the hook and on the hand. Really nice stitch definition. It's soft and lofty. So for certain stitches, it works real well. And I'll show you a little bit of that. Another sneak a peek. I'll show you that. I can feel the wool. And as with 
the Yarn Bee Hobby Lobby Chloe. Really can't wear that on my neck. I made myself a cowl and sadly no. So I hope that one will go to a very good home. You know, it doesn't feel so much like it just doing this, but worked up. And like I said, it's lofty and, and all that comes to life. Um, then I can feel it more. This has quite a halo. They both this do. This one's a little bit softer. Yeah. Oops. It's it's softer. And the stitches are bigger. Oh, and they're both semi-roving yarn. Okay. Now, as far as in another commercial mainstream yarn, and again, we're talking natural fibers versus acrylic. But the Red Heart Unforgettable, if you can, don't want to work with wool at all, but again, semi-roving, they act very similarly with the end result. Um, and all three tend to catch on themselves, so this is not a practice <laughs> yarn. And when you take it out and you frog it, you have to be very careful and make sure that you're, you're pulling really lined up in the direction. You don't want to go out, you know, one way or the other because then it'll really catch. But out of these three, the one that frogged the best was the, the Willow Quiver. And the other color in the Willow Quiver that I was showing, reading off the band, that is in shiitake mushroom. So here's what it looks like in the ball. This is all I have left from the hat. One little donut. Mmm. Hey, that sounds good about now. <laughs> have a little bite of yarn with a cup of tea. And so here is the hat that I made, and I'm just going to show you a little sneak peek piece of that. Just so you can see the texture and the stitch definition there. Isn't she lovely? So yeah, there's that. Okay, so last up. I really am in love with this yarn. Oh, Denim Grace. Oh, it, it what a lovely name, too. The Willow Denim Grace. Oh, boy, I'd been, when they came out with it, I thought, oh, this is something. I will repurchase this. Um, this, I think, just has the the best of all worlds. I worked up a whole glove in this, but let me tell you about it, okay? Um, 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 360 yards. This is the color mustard. I really like that medium wash also. This is a number four, not a number four worsted. And um, it is. It's a lighter weight number four. And as far as mainstream yarns, it reminds me a little bit about of the Lion Brand Jeans yarn. However, that's my first take on it. Could you see that? Okay, I hope so. Different fibers then again. You know, it's your yarn's going to come out different just because of that. Lion Brand is 100% acrylic, and that one is not dense, and it tends to flatten out. It doesn't have a you know a lot of loft and stuff to it. It's and it's nice. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that it's it's a lighter weight. It doesn't loft up. Um, this is 40 acrylic, 30 nylon, 30 wool. Interesting blend. So you get the Pretty decent wool content, 30%. I kind of like to see that the other way around, a little bit more of the wool, but then it's not itchy, but you have the warmth and the breathability. Um, 
and the nylon kind of gives a, a sleekness to it. It's very soft. Um, the glove, the glove is not itchy or prickly at all on my wrist. It has has a little bit of a halo to it. Not much. It looks more of a woolly halo than anything. Um, it kind of gives that heathered appearance. It's very, very subtle because, as you can see, it has the marled, very, very pale tonal to it. I look like I'm serving you up a dish. There we go. And so it works up subtly, but it, it you get highs and lows in it. Just the stitch that I chose and designed into a glove really is just it, the yarn is perfect for this for this stitch. has some cush to it and some texture. Um, this is softer. I don't think it's going to be as much of a workhorse type of yarn. You know, it's again, it's a different type of yarn. The other thing that reminds me of the Lion Brand Jeans is it can be a little splitty. The Lion Brand Jeans yarn is way more splitty than this. Just more like if you're having to do a tighter stitch or going in into to do a slip stitch into your beginning stitch you know when you connect the two or some kind of special stitch where you have to contort it, you can catch the yarn a little bit but um, not so much that it's annoying deal breaker kind of way uh -uh. this is real nice and I hope that it wears well too but it's beautiful yarn in every way and to work with and um, yeah, I'd love to get more of this and design some things around that too okay I'm looking around I think I covered it all for now though I hope not too long okay I want you to come back and not get bored Oh boy, there she goes, TMI again, too much information. <laughs> but for those of you who don't like to hear all that, you know, you can fast forward. And for those of you that want to know all the ins and outs, well, there you have it, as I see it, as I know it. <laughs> as I discovered working with it, that's my take on it. Okay, I hope you had fun hanging out with me. And that's a wrap. So until next time, take care, everyone. Okay, I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.